I'd rather really do my talking in the ring, you know, with my hands. Uh, the face up, all that stuff, I don't, I don't care about that stuff. I can't get it. You know, or I get fine. <laughs> but, you know, I like to do my talking in the ring. All that stuff. That's all I want to do is fight. Your eagerness is up from yesterday. You were more calm, cool, collective yesterday. You gotta, is it because he's in your presence? Yeah. And you're cutting weight at the same time? Yeah. I've been waiting uh, over 10 weeks for this. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But like I said, uh, I'm ready. I'm more than ready for this fight. Uh, me and my dad and Coach Cunningham had a uh, great training camp. You holding great restraint. I mean, Brian Custard asked maybe two, possibly three questions about uh, Earl Spence, and you have a red belt on your shoulder. I would, as Coach Cunningham, I would deem that as disrespectful. Them, them, them is fights that he won. You can't tell him that he don't want to fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, that's a little bit out of the league. Earl Smith, come on now. You know, but like I said, it's still a fight for July 28th. And uh, after, after I win that fight, he can call out whoever he want to call out. Who would you want to fight next? Let's talk about what you want to do after this win, if you win. You got to uh, fight Spence after this? No. Robert, what advice have you given you, knowing that you scored Mikey Garcia not too long ago? Nick, you Nick from Toledo. That's what I'm saying. Nick from Toledo. for this fight? Any different being on 